Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Talking About Marvel Strike Force. I am your host, Chad Thomas. this latest update we've got a huge 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 game changer and that is called ISO 8 and if you're not uh, familiar with ISO 8 it is uh, something that's pretty much been applied to almost every Marvel game uh, I remember it from uh, Avengers Alliance I want to say even um, Contest of Champions. Uh, so it, it's not unheard of, but just for the novice gamer, um, that's what it's about. And it's about enhancing the character's abilities and assigning a new trait to them uh, once other slots are filled. And, uh, and this boosts them up. And uh, I've been pretty, like, stoked about it. <laughs> and, um, I just hope that onward um, down the line that, you know, you don't have to end up buying things just to get them level, their ISO 8 level up. That would, that make me happy. So, I, I'm being very conservative right now. So, that is going to bring us to our top 10 for this episode. And because everything has changed so drastically, um, I'm not even going to compare it to the last uh, episode's top 10. We're just going to have to go here on out with the ISO 8 and see how everything changes. Uh, I mean, things change so easily now. It's, it's really, it's cool and it's fun to mess around with. So, here is the top 10. So, I've acquired two new characters since the last episode, uh, one being Yo-Yo. Um, I haven't seen much of her in gameplay, I haven't really used her yet, uh, as I don't have a strong Inhumans line just yet. It's, it's there, but it's not. I just don't feel it's complete enough. Um, but I should look into that. And uh, X-23, uh, something very exciting for uh, the X-Force team. So I am excited for that. I haven't used her yet in uh, an X-Force lineup. Not even a war yet, so... Uh, but that'll be happening soon. And we are also being introduced to three new characters. One is Anti-Venom. Two... Scream, and three, She-Hulk. I'm especially excited about She-Hulk, um, because, uh, I haven't been able to obtain, uh, the Invisible Woman yet, and I think that throwing her in with, the uh, three members of the Fantastic Four that I have, it'll help kind of round them out. Although they are a powerful team, just the three of them alone. Uh, but that's what I'm excited about. There's a campaign for Scream Shards right now. I'm kind of working hard at that. Uh, I, I think she has a lot of really good potential when she gets leveled up. Uh, in the campaign, she's kind of basic, uh, but kind of has some really good moves. And Anti-Venom, I couldn't really care about him. Um, I'm not a big fan of the symbiote uh, aspects of the Spider-Verse, but I, I mean, considering I do have Venom, Carnage, and Symbiote Spidey, um, 
to add screen and possibly enter venom to that uh, combination, it could be pretty cool. I just gotta play around with it. And that's part of the fun of this game. So that is gonna do it for this episode of Talk About Marvel's Strike Force. Uh, we certainly hope you enjoyed this episode. There are plenty more episodes available for you to watch here on the Red and Slim Productions YouTube channel, as well as plenty of other contents. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell whenever you want to be notified when we upload the video. Also, feel free to drop some comments while the video is playing, while you're watching it. Um, that tends to boost things up for us YouTube creators. So, thank you so much once again. Look forward to seeing you guys the next time. Love and light to you all.